Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Teslong, and this is the NTS 500 Industrial Endoscope that you can pick up on Teslong's site, which I'll have a link in the description below, or up on Amazon, and I'll also have that link as well. Now this is really great for working in tight spaces, uh, anything that you need to work on, say your car or uh, pipes, uh, really good for plumbers, everything like that. It is waterproof. The housing on the main unit is waterproof and the probe itself is IP67 rated. Let's dig into this really quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's show you guys everything that comes in the box. You're going to get the main unit itself. It does have a 9.8 foot probe on it that is IP67, and I'll get into that in just a second. Uh, there's a few other things that they do give you in the box that I want to mention really quickly. Now, you do get that carry case. It is a foamed carry case, fitted carry case. You also get a charging cable which is a standard USB to micro USB charging cable because there's an, an internal 3500 milliamp battery that is going to give you constant usage of this device for five to six hours. Now it takes a few hours to recharge this but you can hook it up to any USB port or AC to USB adapter. Now they do give you an NTS 500 user guide here in a few different languages. It's well laid out. Uh, you know, the print isn't super small, so it's pretty easy to understand and they go over all of the functions here that uh, you can use on this particular endoscope. I'm going to explain most of them in this review. Now let's take a look at the main unit. You do have a, a 9.8 foot probe here. Uh, it is poseable, uh, easy to remove. You just have to unscrew it from the top here and you do have that ring and once you get that out you can just pull it out and replace it with another one. Say yours gets damaged and you need to replace it with another one. This is very easy to do so. You can see you've got your pins there for that. Now you do have a, a little flashlight on the top here, which I'll go over a little bit later. Your controls, your OK button, your settings, and of course your power button down at the bottom, uh, and a record button and brightness button. You've got a large spacious screen here in full color, and underneath uh, this flap here, you'll have your charge port. And you also have a micro SD card slot. It comes pre-installed with a 32 gigabyte card here as you can see there is a 32 gigabyte card already installed and ready to go powering on the unit is super simple all you have to do is hold down the power button for about three seconds you're going to get the Teslon logo of course i've got a no camera icon here because i unplugged mine uh, but you can see uh, just how big the screen is so let's plug this back in real quick very easy again to line the pins up plug this in and screw it down and you're good to go. And as you can see, uh, full color screen there, uh, you're going to be able to capture uh, 1920 by 1080 still shots and you're also going to be able to capture uh, up to 720p HD video from this as well. So let's take a look at our brightnesses. You've got a few different brightness options as you can see there, a little brightness button at the top. And what's going to happen is uh, I can use this to uh, illuminate any areas that I may need to when I'm using the probe in a tight space. Now it does have two cameras, the first one at the top here, and the diameter of the probe is 5.5 millimeters. So you're gonna want to put this uh, on something or into something that is at least 5.5 millimeters, which gives you a wide range of things to do. So let's take a look at the side camera in, in just a few seconds, but I really do kind of want to go over uh, just a few things really quickly. I can rotate my view here by using the up arrow. You can see that I can switch my view 180 degrees, which is really helpful if you need to adjust your angle while you're looking at whatever you're looking at. And again, at the top, you've got that little LED that illuminates the backside of the device. So if you're working at night, you've got an external LED as well. Uh, so you've got that there to help you out.
Okay, so let's take a look at some of the functions we've got going on here. I'm going to point this at Dr. Strange. Uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, further than the normal focal length. Focal length is 1.2 uh, uh, to 4 um, inches away is your normal focal length, but you can still get good quality pictures even further away from that. You can see that I'm probably about 6 to 7 inches away, and I have no problems whatsoever. Now, going through the menus on this is pretty simple. There's an M button down there that's going to give us our menus. You can see that I'm in video mode right now, and if I press it, I am now recording or pressing that dot above the OK. I'm now recording a 720p video, and then I just have to press it to stop. Now, if I hit mode again, it's going to change to a playback. Uh, and I can play this back by just uh, hitting OK to play it back, and you can see that it plays back my 720 video. It also includes a microphone that's built into the unit, so if I need to make any voice notations at any time, I can. So hitting it one more time will take me to picture mode. It'll have a little picture of a camera there, and I can take still pictures with that dot icon, and it, it will flash up on the screen a little uh, you know, camera um, uh, icon there or iris and that allows me to take some uh, photos of Dr. Strange here no problems whatsoever now if I go back in again I'm going to be uh, into playback mode and I can cycle with the arrows uh, through the pictures that I've taken uh, and you can see uh, some of the quality there. I've taken a few still pictures as I'm actually looking at it. This was down inside something here that I was looking at and I can get great detail that way. Hitting the mode button again puts me back in picture mode and then of course to video mode. So you've got picture mode, video mode, and playback mode uh, and that is pretty much as easy as it gets. Okay, so switching from the side camera, which also has a, an LED, you can see that kind of above it, and you've got the same uh, settings, you'll have to press this button up here on the top of the probe. And now you can see that I'm using the side camera, and I can also adjust the brightness of the side camera as well. I can take pictures uh, by just hitting that uh, button above the OK button. We also have settings here. If you want to go in and adjust your settings, it'll tell you what your settings are for pictures. Uh, and they are at currently at 1080p, and that's pretty much the only resolution that we get on that. You do get 720p for video. You can also change a few other things, such as your shutter sound and your date stamp. And then if you continue on, there's going to be some other ones as well. So let's continue on. You can see that we've got an auto power off setting, languages, date and time, formatting your card, uh, and uh, you can also check the version as well to see what version you're running. So they give you a few different options there. Uh, so again, changing from the side view uh, to the uh, forward view, I mean, you do have dual lenses on this, which comes in handy, and I'll kind of show you this a little bit right now. It's just a click of this button right up here, uh, and now it'll be the front-facing camera that we have, uh, and we're going to go into something and show you exactly what it looks like going down in uh, to something like you may have to uh, look inside here uh, to maybe see a connection or a wire that you need to check out. But you can see that the picture is really, really nice, and this is with the LEDs off. Let me turn the LEDs on for you uh, so you can see that we do get a really nice picture of inside this tight space. And this is where this will really shine, something that you'll be able to use in, say, automotive or plumbing or uh, you know wiring in houses, just anything that you can think of uh, you can do. Now, if I need to take a picture, I can just press that little dot button above the OK button, and I snapped a picture here. And if I need to change over to the side view, again, I can just hit this up on the probe here, and now I'm on the side view. Now, this is a really tight space, so there's not a lot to see in the side view, uh, but you can still make things out even though it's very, very close. I can make out the seams of the actual place that I'm in, and then I can switch back very, very easily. Okay, so that's my review of the Teslong NTS 500 dual lens industrial endoscope. Again, I'll have links of where you can check this out either on Teslong or on Amazon, uh, and you guys can check it out for yourself. 
Uh, this is a really, really solid unit. Uh, you get five to six hours of uh, continuous runtime on this. It's got a great, nice, big color screen. You can take a video and picture either from the front-facing lens or the side-facing lens, both including uh, several levels of LED. Uh, this is a very, very well-built unit, and I think Teslong did an awesome job on this, and I'm definitely giving this a thumbs up for anybody that needs to work in, say, the plumbing industry, electrical, or a mechanical of any kind. I think you're really, really going to enjoy this endoscope. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.